Hey everyone, so today we are at a super cool farm, Five Heart Earthworm Farm, and we are going to learn about their process and how they create a fertilizer that you're able to use for your garden and otherwise. So I'll just hand it over and you can tell us a little bit about where we are and what we're going to learn today. Thanks, Taylor. <laughs> and this worm guy here, this is Daryl, my husband. <laughs> Hi, we are here in Birch Run, Michigan, and um, on the property where my husband uh, was grew up and now we have an earthworm farm here so years and years ago as he was growing up there were a typical farm growing produce and having animals um here we have our livestock our earthworms and so um, what we do here is we receive um, food scraps from businesses and residents that are collected around the Saginaw Bay region and then we pre-compost it here and take it in and feed it to our worms so they can finish it off and they create this wonderful, natural, organic material that you can add to enrich in the life of your soil because so much of our soil is depleted mm -hmm. these days. And if, if there aren't the nutrients in your soil, then you are not going to get an, a bountiful harvest from your um, vegetable gardens or beautiful blooms from your flowering gardens. So um, we can take you inside and show you what's going on. Wonderful. Let's take a look around. It starts here with our collection service. It's called Give a Scrap. Uh, we take our electric van and we go into Saginaw Bay City in Flint and have subscribers for our, our collection. We take their food scraps and bring them out here to the farm. So you can see Carly out there on our uh, electric blue tractor. She is covering up our compost area right now for the materials we collected today. So um, that material will get um, turned and composted over the next few months. And when it's good and ready, then we'll bring it in and feed it to our worms. So this is where our, our worms live, they, in these worm beds, we call them, or a worm bin. Um, it is really just um, definitely our, the compost that's laid on top, very uh, slightly movement of, the, of the, the castings, the soil on top, and you'll see our little guys. They're just small little red worms. They're not your big earthworms that people like to fish with. Um, our worms are composting worms, and the difference is, is that they live at the surface of the earth, and their job is to break down and decompose all of the the leaf litter and things like that that fall to the surface of the earth. Those big guys, the fishing worms, live way deep into the soil. And so they're more of the burrowing worms that open up the soil so that water and um, air can get down inside. So we, you can see the leaves, um, the leaf particles and some of the bigger pieces that are still visible here. These um, are, came from the compost area that way. We don't compost everything to complete uh, finish so that the worms can actually do the job because that's where um, we get the value from the castings is that the worms have finished it and eaten it and passed it through their stomach, their gut, and that's where it picks up all the wonderful microbes and nutrients to, to benefit your soil. It's, it's amazing to me that when you think of composting, there's always a smell. There's no smell in here. Yeah, yeah. It's just it, it smells very fresh. Earth, very earthy, right. It should, yeah. it should be very earthy. And a part of that is, again, because we pre-composted the material, so the raw food isn't like right on here. We did that at one time when we first started, and we're learning to figure out our process. <laughs> and that worked for a while, but as we grew, we just learned that this was a more efficient and, and quick way to take care of it. So how long, when you put this in here, how long is this stage? So this stage, um, Daryl will come in and regularly water it because the, the worms, their skin is moist for a reason. They, they need to stay moist, and so he'll come in here and make sure that they, they get watered. Um, we know in about four months that the worms will have finished off the material, and you can kind of see the difference in some of these back beds here. You can, again, see the leaf you know, the leaf particles and things that are much larger. And over here, you can see that it's a lot of the leaf pieces are, are gone and it's, it, there's really not much large material at all. It's just down to the, the black castings, is, which is what we're, we're oh. really after is this nice, rich worm poop is really what it is. So they, they've just eaten everything and put it back um, into the bed for us. So you must fill, because every, when we get the jars or the big mm -hmm. buckets, there's no sticks or anything, so mm -hmm. you must filter it all. Right, mm -hmm. and so we can move on over here to the separator, and uh, Daryl can get it running for you to see how to separate. <laughs> so, so this is our separator, and you can see Daryl is, we've hand emptied a bed when it's ready for harvest, and he's going to hand feed this separator, which is really just a really slow uh, turning machine with screens on it. They have eight inch screens on it so that we can get the fine casting separated from the worms and any of the larger debris. So 
So the castings that we're trying to harvest are going to fall through and you can see the beautiful clean and rich earthworm castings here that come out through this process. So the worms and the larger sticks and things just tumble through and fall into this container. We'll pick out the larger sticks or um, pieces of wood that didn't get broken down and then we'll just recycle our worms back into the bed and start the process all over again. So you can see once we get through the screening process, we have just the, the lovely rich castings that we're after to package and sell to those that want healthy soil. So we package that material in five gallon buckets and in quart jars. We also can sell it in larger quantities and in bulk, so check, you know, call, contact us about that. But uh, you can see our buckets and our, our quart jars are available. You can order those right online. We have our website, fiveheartwormfarm.com. Uh, if you're in the local area, we can even deliver those to you for free. Or you can stop here and check us out and visit us at the farm. So we'd love to, to have you out anytime. Something that uh, we like to really pride ourselves on and why we call our worm castings a premium is that we only use um, organic materials in our process. So we, we do stay away from any um, animal manures just because of the risk of any pharmaceutical um, residues left behind in the compost. So. We want to make sure that when you add this to your soils, whether it's during planting time or throughout the season to top dress, that you're, you know that what you grow and what you're going to eat and feed your family is going to be so We've had a couple of uh, people do their own little test studies on our castings because we've learned that all castings aren't equ uh, created equally. And so you can see here from a couple of our, our pictures here, we have a friend who wanted to test it out and see if this stuff really worked. And um, she planted her flowers as she normally would, but she did one part of her flower beds without the castings and one with. And she was so amazed at how fuller her blooms came up on her annuals. And then we also had someone that we really didn't even know did kind of a study. They came out, we had them out here for a workshop, and I sent them some of our castings. And they bought worm castings from a retail store and used the same growth medium and uh, showed that the castings that were used from the retail store and the castings from us how much better and fuller and greener everything grew. So that was really cool for us to see and made us even prouder of our product. But we do have a lot of great events out here, so be sure to follow our Facebook page. Um, you'll be able to catch up on all of the things we have going on. If you're in Birch Run, we're going to be in the Birch Run 4th of July Parade, which is open to all Saginaw County residents or anybody in the area. So come on out for that and say hi. Um, we also have a day camp coming up this summer for kids. And that's in August this summer. For kids 8 to 12, it's a great fun day to be a worm scientist and get really down and dirty with the worms and learn about composting. Uh, we'll take you out on a nature walk and help you with some plant identification on our trails out here. We have 40 acres, so it's just a great day to get the kids outside. And, and uh, while you're around, you can go into Birch Run or Frankenmuth and parents, you've got something to do while your kids are here for the day. So thanks so much for coming out and uh, being here, Taylor, with us today. It was just a great time showing you around. Yeah, it really was wonderful. I, I learned a lot and I just love seeing what you're doing.